Okay, so we've discussed elements, compounds, and mixtures, and we've talked a little bit about mixtures and how to separate them, how they're different than a compound, how to separate them. So today, or for the next lab, you're going to be getting a mixture of water, sand, and salt, and you're going to have to separate it. So let's start out at the top of your page. You need to put this, the title, Separation of a Mixture Lab. Your beginning question is going to be, how can I separate a mixture of water, sand, and salt? Your materials, you have a 250 milliliter beaker, you'll have a watch glass, filter paper, hot plate, if you funnel, you'll need about 100 milliliters of water, that may need to be more, we can adjust that in class, and you'll need some 400 milliliter beakers, okay? So go ahead and pause this until you have that in your notebook, and then we're ready to start the procedure. All right, for the first thing we're going to be doing in the procedure, sorry, wait a minute while I readjust myself. I am at home still on summer break, in case you're wondering when I'm doing this, because I know you were. All right, step one, label a 250 milliliter beaker with your name. Okay, use a sharp, not a sharpie, a um, Visa Vis marker. There should be one in your drawer of your lab station. And the reason we want your name on there is because we're going to dry this out eventually uh, using heat and we'll need to be able to get back to the same uh, beaker. You're going to find the mass and record it. And I'll show you a data table here in a little bit. Step two, you're going to label a watch glass with your name. Now this time you need to put the name on the top of the watch glass. The watch glass, you remember, looks like the big uh, contact lens. If you put your name on the bottom of the watch glass in vis-a-vis, -vis, as the water evaporates, that water will hit the uh, watch glass and it'll uh, dissolve it and it'll be back in the um, uh, beaker and you'll have colored water and you got the idea. So write it on the top not the bottom, then you're going to find the mass and record. Okay? Step three. Mass out approximately 10 grams of sand and record. So you'll need a weigh boat, which this is what I'm using for my weigh boat symbol. Does it have to be exactly 10? Could be 9.8, could be 10.1, should be within two tenths of a gram, one way or another. Step four, you'll do the same thing with salt. All right, and you'll add both of those to your 400 milliliter beaker. So both of those are going to go in to one of the 400 milliliter beakers. Same beaker, so now you've got sand, and now you have sand and salt. All right, step five. You're going to add 100 milliliters of water in here. So you've got your salt and your sand. Now think about what is going to happen as you add 100 milliliters of water. Okay, does it have to be exactly 100 milliliters? Well, you should probably use a graduated cylinder and measure it out. So we'll draw the graduated cylinder there. But if it was 99, it's not going to be the end of the world because we aren't actually measuring it. We're going to actually boil this water away. All right, step six, you're going to get a piece of filter paper. 
and you're going to fold it into fourths and you're going to write your name in pencil. In pencil. If you use the Visa Visa marker, when this gets wet, guess what's going to happen? It's going to run and you won't be able to read your name anymore. So you write your name on there in pencil. You're going to fold it into fourths and then you'll fold it so you have a little cone shaped piece of paper. Okay? That's step seven. Step eight. You're going to carefully pour your mixture of water, sand, and salt into a funnel. Oh, I forgot. Step seven. We've got to also then put that little wedge-shaped piece of water into a funnel. Okay? So now you have a funnel. You have filter paper. Let's make our filter paper green, even though it's white. Okay? And you're going to put that funnel in a ring stand. You're going to put your other, or your 250 milliliter beaker under here. Okay? And then you're going to pour, that's the one that has your name on it. You're going to pour the water out of your 400 milliliter beaker that has your salt and sand in it. Now, my suggestion here, stir, stir, stir before you pour. Because you're going to have sludge that's going to stick on the side and you've got to get that all into the filter. When we pour water into the filter, it's very important, don't fill it up over the edge of the filter. So it's going to take some time. Now, how are you going to get this stuff out that's stuck in there? You're going to use your wash bottle. You have a wash bottle that is filled with distilled water. And when you squeeze the, wa the side, the water will shoot out. So it's almost like a squirt gun or something like that. And you're all going to be tempted to squirt each other. Please don't. You're not in kindergarten anymore. You never know what could be in there. Yeah, those are all labeled distilled water, but sometime we might have something that has something else in there. So just be adults here. Okay, don't squirt each other. If you really need to feel the need to squirt it, you can be the one that squirts it into the beaker. And the way we do that, and it's going to be much easier when I show you in class, but you basically tip the beaker on its side and then aim that bottle so that the stream of water, and we want to go back to blue because it's water, goes in there and hits the side and that will help to get that to start coming out. Now notice what also is going to have to be there. You're going to have to have your funnel there. So you're squirting from one side. It's hard to do three-dimensional, but the funnel is back there too. That's going to be just lovely and confusing, isn't it? So you might make a note. Watch first and I'll demonstrate how to do that. When you get to this part in the lab tomorrow in class you might raise your hand if you're not quite sure what you're doing. So you're going to run all that water through the funnel. Okay, So you should have some kind of a solid in there now. Last step, once you've got all the water from your original beaker moved through, we're going to use our uh, graduate or our distilled water and we're going to put one final amount. We're going to go ahead and fill it up to the edge of the paper and do one final wash. Okay, This way there's any sand that's stuck in there that's uh, stuck to the sand, uh, salt, or any salt, I'm sorry, that's stuck to the sand particles that'll wash on through as well. Okay, Step um, no, 10, you're going to take your filter paper that you had folded into pieces and has your name on it and you're going to put it into the um, onto the tray over in our fume hood and I will then put that into the little oven in the back to start it to heat out and dry. Step 11, you're going to put the filtrate. So remember you're in that 250 milliliter beaker that has your name on it. You're going to put your watch glass on top that also has your name on it 
and you're going to put that on a hot plate. I'm going to use the hot plate is going to be square so we know that it's different from our balance and you begin to heat. That's heat coming off. I know it looks stupid. All right and that is where we will end as far as the lab when we go tomorrow. Step 12 and 13 is simply going to be to find the mass of the filter paper and the mass of the beaker once all the water has evaporated. And you need to, of course, have that watch glass on there too because this beaker and watch glass are both going to be covered with salt particles. Okay? All right. Very good. Thank you for watching.